everybody good morning and welcome to against the public for august 5th on dana lane today we're going to go through my top major league baseball free plays as usual and then we'll finish the show off with your handicapping tip of the day and tonight we're going to examine uh the difference between when you bet against teams whose last game was at home versus uh teams whose last game was on the road meaning uh, they're playing back-to-back -back games at home they're playing back-to-back -back games on the road and we're going to take a, a little bit of a dive into uh, should you bet favorites in that situation should you bet dogs should you bet home teams road teams so we'll, we'll kind of tear that apart a little bit i know it sounds a little bit confusing but uh basically i just want to see uh do teams get comfortable when they're on the road uh or do they get you know after playing that first game did they get more comfortable in that second game did they have more success and then kind of the same thing at home do you find yourself uh you know coming home uh, coming off the road and then that second game you become a little bit more comfortable i'll, I'll go through it and i'll explain it and hopefully it will <laughs> make sense but after to the show guys please go to pickdogs.com i'll have my premium major league baseball plays locked and loaded i will also have my nfl preseason selections on the website locked in on wednesday so the entire week of the nfl preseason will be available on wednesday so you could jump on my single plays or tomorrow's major league baseball three pack for just 49.99 and of course every three pack and every individual play comes with our pick dogs win guarantee that states you must profit or receive an immediate site credit for the purchase price in addition uh, guys you know and we mentioned the nfl coming up there's only one way to get every play that i release whether it's major league baseball the nfl nfl regular season preseason college football nhl nba college basketball major league baseball again next year just become a premium all access member and you could do that for the next 30 days for less than $11 a day the next 90 days for less than $10 a day or better yet just jump on that all access pass that will carry you right through football season it's basically uh this pass is three dollars and seventy cents a day it's basically purchasing uh the nfl preseason the regular season and college football and it's kind of like getting the nhl nba college basketball this time to next year major league baseball absolutely free so you can jump on that and we're only four days away from a full slate of nfl preseason matchups and 19 days away from college football and my preseason nfl package if you're just interested in that that's up on the website at pickdogs.com just 199.99 gives you every play i release over the entire preseason for one low price and last year in, in nfl football 56 percent winners over 4,000 units won combined between the nfl and college football so make sure if you're with us this year or if you were with us last year rather make sure you come back again in 2024-25 and if you weren't don't miss out again uh, this upcoming season okay on to your free plays for monday remember these are all probable pitchers so please confirm before placing your wager we'll start things off 5 15 eastern time 901 902 new york mets against the st louis cardinals mets minus a dollar 14 on the road nine over minus a dollar 13 sean Manaya against andre Pilate. uh jump on this game now because uh, the, Beb, the the public is clearly on the new york mets we see 80 percent of the money uh going towards the new yorkers 70 percent of the tickets are also on the mets and I happen to agree with that assessment. So get on this game right now before that number gets pushed up a little bit. Uh, the public loves the over in this as well. The money and ticket split on the over is 96% and 95%. So they like the over even more uh, than they do the actual side. The money on the Mets money line has quickly moved. Uh, it opened up at minus $1.10 in most spots and we see right now in vegas minus a dollar 18 at some properties a dollar 16 offshore so that has certainly moved quickly in favor of the mets which is why you want to get on it right now uh, we've seen some movement on the total offshore as well going eight and a half over minus 20 to nine at some spots minus a dollar 30 under doesn't mean we're not that doesn't mean if you're if you want to jump on that uh on that total doesn't mean it's not going to go back down to eight and a half but if you want to get on the under uh you don't mind uh laying uh, 10 cents more with a dollar 30 then you might want to get on this game right now sean Manaya, seven and four three point five zero ear raise almost a strikeout in inning pitcher with 112 and 113 innings pitched this year 
Former Indiana State Sycamore has allowed two earned runs in his last 11 and two-thirds innings, allowing just five hits. Palante's 4-5, four 4.04 ERA, needs to rebound after a couple of okay outings. I'm going to give it at least an okay outing. Uh, one uh, at, at best, it was okay. Uh, the Rangers uh, gave up uh, seven hits, five innings, three earned, two base on balls, five, uh, five Ks. Not bad. I mean, you don't want to give up more hits than innings pitch, so that's why I kind of say it's okay. Uh, over his last three starts, Pallante has allowed eight earned runs over 17 and a third innings. It's a 4.16 ERA, a little bit high, and the Cardinals have lost three straight games when Andre Pallante has got a, gotten a start. So we're going to go with the Mets, minus $1.14 in your first free play. Game number two, 640 Eastern Time, 903-904 is your rotation numbers. Cincinnati Reds on the road, minus $1.13. 37, eight and a half under minus 15 against Miami. Nick Martinez against Rodri, uh, Rodri Munoz. Uh, Martinez this year is five and five. He's got a 3.65 ERA. He's going to make his sixth start out of the pen uh, after having a, a terrific run uh, out of the bullpen this season. This is going to be his first start since May 22nd uh, when he was roughed up by the Padres. And David Bell really wants to make a starter out of Mar Martinez. I, I think he tried that early in the year. Didn't really work out. He's going to come back to that uh, again at this point. Uh, but uh, he was moved back to the bullpen where he was absolutely lights out. And the earned run allowed against the Giants a couple nights ago was the first earned run, earned run he's given up since July 9th to give you an idea of how good he's been in the bullpen. Uh, Martinez has, not, has allowed just that one earned run in his last 12 and a third innings. Munoz is going to bounce or is going to try to bounce back after uh, okay outings against Tampa Bay and Baltimore through 10 uh, innings, allowed 10 hits, eight earned runs, 7.20 ERA. I guess I take that back. That wasn't very. That's not very good at all. So 7.20 ERA. Uh, looks like this is another game where we meet. Where we might need to get on this quick. Uh, money has moved seven seven cents in downtown Vegas and 15 cents offshore in favor of the Reds. I like the Reds too. I'm going to give up a dollar 37 here. So uh, take the Reds in your second free game. And then game number three, 805 Eastern Time, 909-910. Houston Astros on the road against the Texas Rangers. Astros minus $1.18, 8.5 under minus 15. Hunter Brown against Andrew Haney. Uh, this is a game I'd recommend waiting for some. Um, it, it, there might be some movement. You're not going to lose anything by waiting. Uh, we do see 53% of the money is on Houston. So really this number could go either way or it could just kind of just stay where it is. We already seen a little bit of mo movement here in the desert. Uh, Houston moved from minus a dollar twelve to a minus uh, minus a dollar fourteen, but I think you can afford to wait uh, just a little bit more. And the movement we have seen at some smaller books and in one large one uh, it has gone in favor of the Houston Astros, which means we might be able to get a little bit better plus money than what I'm giving out in this game. If there is a spot where Houston has been weak this year, it has certainly been in the role of a favorite. They're just forty three and thirty nine as a favorite this year, but they have dropped eleven point zero two units. And the Cubs are the only team worse than the Houston Astros as a favor in 2024. They are 12 and 17 as a road favorite, minus 8.56 units, and that is by far the worst mark in Major League Baseball by almost three units. This may be uh, the first season in three years that the Rangers actually produce a profit against the Houston Astros. Uh, they're just five and five this year, but they have. Um, they have won enough plus, plus money games to put them a little bit into the black here, minus zero point, or plus 0 0.23 units. So uh, maybe this is the year that the Rangers kind of break that Houston Astros hex. If the Rangers could find a way uh, to give Haney uh, more support, which they haven't done all year, uh, his record would certainly be a lot better than it is. Don't get fooled by, by uh, his record. It's really about run support. Uh, with Andrew Haney. I'm going to take the Rangers here plus a dollar eight. And before we go today, uh, let's analyze. I, I, every time I, I kind of go on down these rabbit holes, I hope I present it properly because um, sometimes they get a little bit more confusing. I wish I had some graphics to go with this, but I wanted to analyze uh, the record when playing an opponent 
that was either at home or road, on the road the previous night. So, uh, meaning they're playing the second second back-to-back games at home. And that doesn't mean they're playing their first and second game after coming off the road. That could be the second and third game of a series as well. As long as they're in a situation where they're playing back-to-back home games or back-to-back road games, uh, here's the records. Playing road teams against home teams that played a, played at home the previous night, you would be 813 and 864 minus 14.14 units. Betting favorites against teams playing back-to-back nights at home, you would be 383 and 286. That's a sparkling 573 win percentage. We're gonna go back to that in a second. Minus 6.69 units. Underdogs in that situation are 430 and 578 minus 6.69 units. Now, when you're playing a home team, when playing a road team, or you will say it well, you when you're betting a home team, when playing a road team that has played the on the road the previous night, you would be 861 and 810. That's a 515, a 515 win percentage, but still minus 60.78 units. Now, if you were betting favorites when up against a team playing in at least two straight road games, you would be 570 and 4, 436, a 567 win percentage, minus 49.66 units. And playing dogs, you would be 20, uh, 291 and 374, minus 11.12 units. So it looks like, just going through this, excuse me, it looks like when you're playing favorites, when up against a team playing their previous game on the road, you would produce a 56% win percentage. But, of course, that's not good enough to, over a course of the season if you can't just play that uh, as a blanket wager. But what I would recommend is going for teams in that situation that are between even money and minus $1.10. And this year, that has produced a much more manageable win percentage of 575 win percentage behind a record of 50 and 37 plus 9.76 units. So that's a good uh, unit production based upon uh, that actual trend. Now, it's not going to give you games every single night, but sometimes you get bigger trends that are going to blanket your entire card and really help you out through the season. And sometimes you got to take a few little nuggets here and there and point and put them in uh, to your uh, handicapping card or your, your baseball card whenever they see whenever you see fit. So not everything is a massive trend. Uh, sometimes these are just little nuggets that you might want to think about when you're uh, teetering on games or when the when the uh, when the actual uh, game presents itself to be able to utilize uh, this particular system. By the way, Kansas City, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and the Mets are a combined 16 and two when using that handicapping tip. If there's anything you'd like me to research, uh, please drop me a comment on the YouTube YouTube channel. I'll get to it uh, almost immediately, guys. I, I try to stay right on top of these things so I can help you out. i win as much as possible. So please uh, feel free to put your uh, comments or questions on there and I'll be happy to get to it uh, on the next coming uh, upcoming videos. So that does it for your Monday free plays and your handicapping tip of the day. Uh, please go to pickdogs.com, get involved with one of my many available packages and including my all-access pass that will give you every play I release for the next uh, 30 days, 90 days, a uh, year pass, or whatever you're comfortable doing. Let's get to work right now. Football season, you know, is a massive moneymaker. Don't let one week of the preseason go by without getting involved. Here's your Monday free play recap. New York Mets minus $1.14, Cincinnati Reds minus $1.37, and the Texas Rangers plus $1.08. That does it for today's show. Thank you to everybody everybody who continues to watch on a daily basis. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate it. I want to get to that 200 like plateau, I guess. I don't understand you get We got like 2,000 people watching. Just hit the like button. Uh, at least if you don't like the information, appreciate the work, I guess. But it would be cool to get to that 200 like button. But I do appreciate everybody that takes the time to subscribe and hit the like button. Uh, try to, uh, every single day, try to give you winners and try to beat this thing that uh, is, is a difficult, difficult road, uh, especially this time uh, in Major League Baseball. When we're up against the money lines, those are 
that was a difficult time. So looking forward to football so I can look at a, a bunch of minus $1. tens for uh, a very long time, I guess, until next baseball season. For Against the Public, I'm Dana Lane. All the best to you and your wagers on Monday.